Yeah, g'day kids. This is a quick tutorial on how you can actually join a Zoom meeting. Your teacher will email you out via your student portal, um, your department email address and invitation. When you get it, this is the key part down here. It'll tell you the date, so today's date and the time that the meeting is going to start. I really recommend that you jump on five, ten minutes before that, probably five minutes before that. Um, you can just click on this hyperlink. Another way you can do it, if you just go into Zoom and then say enter a meeting, you can type in this meeting ID and the password and that will get you in. But for now, I'm just going to click on that hyperlink. It's going to ask for a prompt. prompt. Uh, and you can see me, hi and then join with video. Now if you do have a camera in your laptop or in your device, um, whether it's a, an iPad or a tablet, um, that would have a camera and a microphone, so that'd be great. If you don't, you can go join without video and we just can't hear you, we can't see you, but you can still type in and you can listen to everything else. So I do have a microphone and a camera, so I'm gonna go join with video. Now, when you get here, that's saying I'm in a, a waiting room, waiting for my teacher, who in this case is my daughter, Taya Nash. Um, so as soon as she's ready, she will then allow me to join that meeting. So Taya, if you could let me join, please. And then you'll see both of us. So for me, I'm the student. My daughter, Taya, she is gonna be referred to as the teacher from now on. Now, when you get in here, there's a couple of different views. You can go up to speaker view or gallery view and there's only two of us. So there's my teacher here and there's myself. So there's two people from our class, the teacher and a student. If you have 20 kids in the class that are joining, you'll actually see 20 people down here. Or if Taya can just put her name up, let's say that Taya didn't have a, um, a camera, then you just see her name up there. So if you can go back, please. Now, I can see my teacher, they can talk to me, etc., etc. There's a few things. Let's say that my te teacher asks, am I going okay? I can go down to these reactions and I can give her a thumbs up and you'll see that'll come up in the top left-hand corner of my screen. Or if she does something really, really good, I can basically start to clap my hands and they'll see that there. Now, if we had, uh, if Taya was trying to talk to 30 kids and we're all in the background going, ah, making lots of noise she won't be able to concentrate and hear so she can mute me so from her end she can go through and actually see down here there's a microphone it's red and it's got a line through it that means that now as I'm talking she won't be able to hear what I'm saying so if you can unmute me please Don. all right so she's unmuted me she can hear me again now let's say that uh, she couldn't see me she couldn't hear me how does she know if I've got a question Basically, somewhere on your screen, depending on the device that you've got, for me, I can go down to Participants, click into here, um, and there might come up something that says Raise Hand. So down here, I've got Raise Hand. You can see now on the screen, it's got Lower Hand. My teacher would be able to see a little hand that will be up here, and that lets her know that I actually want to ask a question. She'd then be able to unmute me. I can talk into my microphone, or I could go over and type in um, where I've got chat. I could go down and actually type something into my teacher. She could see that and she could answer the question and obviously I'd be able to hear her. I'd be able to see her on the screen. Now, a couple of things for privacy. My teacher would be set up where it's safe for her to show what's in the background. For me, I've got a family, so I might have a brother or a sister or a mum or a dad that's going to walk behind me and they may not want to be on camera. So what I can do there is go down to next where it's got stop video. I can click on that and go choose virtual background. Now if you just have none there, you can add a background by clicking on the plus add image and then it's going to allow you to go onto your desktop or somewhere else to actually pick an image that you're going to use for your background. I've already added some backgrounds that are here so I could click on that one there and you can see everything before that you could see so the Newcastle Knights jumper, the Vikings jumper etc etc you can see them so that could be the parents walking past. Um, if I add a background all of a sudden that disappears and it gives your family a little bit of privacy. Now, another thing that we can see is um, 
if I put in my Nashi's picks background at the moment it's going the right way if I was to go down and go mirror my video the background then reverses all right so your screen reverses now that's really important because if I get rid of all my backgrounds if I wanted to show my teacher some work um, and I hold up that there two stroke oil if my teacher is seeing that or if you're trying to read your teachers document that they're trying to refer to and it's back to front all you need to do is go down to mirror my video and that'll fix that up for you um, let's get out of that one and go back to here speaker view um, gallery view so there's those there you can maximize your screen get that going like so if I wanted to see me I could do that if I had other people in the class there'd be more boxes going down and I can double click on those guys there and that will show you that um, if you wanted to chat go to chat and I can s simply type in a message um, hi and then that will come up there um, or over here now I've just typed that through to my teacher and then my teacher might come back and it says to everyone and it says hey now if my teacher wanted to send just a private message to me she can do the same thing but this time you'll see that it comes up with private message so from my teacher again from Taya Nash it says hello but because it's got privately no one else can see that message that they've sent through to me so basically in a nutshell that's how you would uh, enter a meeting I'll go back to this other view uh, to leave a meeting so my teacher would stay open let's say I needed to go to the toilet I need needed to go shopping with mum or whatever I've got another meeting to go to I would simply go down to leave meeting click on that there I then jump out of that meeting everyone else would continue on in the background but I'd be gone all right hopefully that helps take care stay safe um, and we'll talk to you soon with some more help all right see you kids